All right, Westmore Central High School, good to see you again. Matt Ferreri, Director of School Counseling, here today speaking with Paola Franco of Pomona College. She is the Senior Assistant Dean of Admissions. Paola, how are you today? I'm doing well. I'm currently in New Jersey. Hi, everybody. Great. Well, welcome to New Jersey. I was going to ask you what it's like out there in California, but I guess uh, you'll have to give us a report some other time. Um, so listen, why don't you tell us a little bit about Pomona College and uh, you know what, what should our students know? Yeah, wonderful. Well, Pomona College is a liberal arts college out in Southern California in the city of Claremont, California, a city affectionately known as the city of trees and PhDs. Um, Claremont is about an hour away from Los Angeles, and Pomona is the founding member of the Claremont Colleges, a consortium of five liberal arts colleges all across the street from one another. We share lots of things, the coolest of those being that students get to take classes across all five. Uh, Pomona is home to about 1,700 students that come to us from all over the world and all over the country. All 50 states are represented in additional 60 countries. Over half of our students uh, identify as students of color. So it's just an incredible community that our, our students get to belong to. Um, and that's one of the reasons that I came back to continue contributing to that incredible community. And I say that because I went to Pomona, I graduated in 2017, I should clarify. <laughs> Okay, no, it's great. Uh, so it sounds like a very diverse community. Um, you know, let's talk a little bit about the the campus culture, if you could. I I, I know uh, the five colleges of Claremont. While they're separate campuses, they're almost uh, right next door to each other, or you can you can easily walk from one to the other. But tell us a little bit about uh, the campus culture at Pomona specifically. Absolutely. So yeah, you can walk across the street from one college to another, but specifically at Pomona, you'll find that we really live out the California spirit of innovation, of seeking knowledge. Our students are incredibly curious and we have lots of opportunities for students to do that in and out of the classroom, but we also live out the California spirit of relaxation and enjoying our time at Pomona and spending time in the sunshine. Um, our students spend time doing all sorts of things with over 300 clubs and organizations across the Claremont Colleges. You mentioned diversity. Our students have diverse interests too, and they like to spend their time doing all sorts of things. So I like to say that in terms of student life and campus culture, there's a little bit of everything for everyone. And I also like to point out that academically, the culture is incredibly collaborative. Students are really eager to learn from and with each other, and they really see a value in that. Um, so we're a good place for folks who are who also value those kinds of things. Okay. Uh, you had mentioned 1,700 students. Uh, most students, if not all, live on campus, I'm guessing? Yes. 94% uh, of our students will live on campus all four years. We guarantee housing. Um, we have a few special living options that I'm happy to talk about that does not include Greek life. There's no Greek life on our campus. Um, but yeah, highly residential community. Great. And in between, my understanding, the city of Los Angeles, right? Mm -hmm. And and some mountains, am I correct in, in saying yeah. that? Or, yeah, so we're in, a little bit more. yeah, we're right at the base of the San Gabriel Mountains. Um, we're about an hour and a half from Joshua Tree National Park, about an hour away from the from beaches in the city. We're about two and a half hours from Sequoia National Park. So we're really spoiled in our location. Um, and there's some cool things that we get to do given that location and taking our students out into different environments. So yeah, we're right at the edge of LA County. So just, just barely get to call ourselves part of LA. <laughs> Sounds good. Um, so tell us a little bit, any any kind of fun traditions at the school that, that people should know about? What can you tell us there? Absolutely. So given our location, we have some cool things. One a beloved tradition, one that I did attend my last year at Pomona is Ski Beach Day. So it's exactly what it sounds like. You go skiing in the morning and to the beach in the afternoon. There are, you know, very few places kind of in the country where you can do that. So we're really happy to be able to do that for our students. Another kind of beloved tradition is the number 47. Uh, for no really good rhyme or reason, Pomona students in the Pomona community love the number 47. It is our exit off the freeway and so if you see a 47 in the wild you say chirp chirp uh, for example so that's a quirky kind of tradition uh, that we have at Pomona so those would be the main two that I would point out Sorry. <laughs> I love it I love it all right um, so I, you know I, I was speaking with another school within the within the Claremont colleges and that school really seemed to be you know stem only yeah. um, 
talk to us about the academics there at Pomona. What, what opportunities are, are there for students? Absolutely. So we have 48 different majors that span the disciplines from, of course, STEM, the social sciences, humanities and arts, and even some really cool interdisciplinary majors. Um, that being said, some of our most popular majors include things like economics, computer science, politics, math, psychological science, otherwise known as psychology, but that is an intentional name there, neuroscience and media studies, and media studies being, again, one of those really cool interdisciplinary majors. Um, students officially declare their major by the end of their second year. So regardless of what you put on your application, you have time to explore and kind of get a taste of a few different things before you officially declare your major. So don't be surprised if you apply to Pomona a historian and walk out a biologist or apply as a biologist and walk out an economist. We see those things happen and that's kind of the beauty of the liberal arts. Wow, nice. Uh, yeah. so, and, and I gotta imagine with some of those majors that you mentioned, economics, uh, political science, and its location next to Los Angeles, I, I've got to think there are great internship, career placement opportunities. Can you talk about some of those partnerships with us? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, during the school year and during the summer, we operate the Pomona College Internship Program known as PSIP. And with that program, students have access to a number of internships um, closer to Claremont, but also way out in the city, like you mentioned. So we were able to place students at tech startups, um, at law firms and hospitals in I had friends who interned at Botanical Gardens and got really cool experiences that gave them jumping off points into some really interesting careers. So via PSEP, um, our students are able to do that. And then during the summer, the opportunities grow. So uh, certainly lots to do in Southern California, but an, an internship can even take you to another place in the country or even elsewhere in the world. And we're really excited to give those opportunities and have those resources for our students. Yeah, you, you mentioned other places in the world. Do a lot of students study abroad? About 50% of our students, yes, will study abroad. Um, they usually do that during their junior year. We have over 60 programs in over 30 countries in every continent except for Antarctica. Sorry. Wow. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> if somebody really wants to do that, they can go on their own. Uh, good. Um, so look, a lot. it sounds like a lot of great opportunities. Uh, I'm sure uh, Career Service Offices is pretty active uh, there. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Absolutely. So that is our CDO, the Career Development Office. And part of your orientation is actually a training session at the CDO. So we're, where you get to learn about the folks who work there, their expertise, the resources that they have, um, the kind of advising and career development programs programs and offer, offerings that they have. And it's worth noting that that's a resource that you have access to, of course, as a Pomona student, but also as an alum of the college for the rest of your life. So 10 years out, you're like, hey, I want to go to law school. Great, come on back and we can help you navigate that. So just a really incredible resource uh, for our students and for our alumni. Great, great. Mm -hmm. uh, so talking about the students, what, what type of students do you typically accept there? I mean, is there... Uh, are you looking for a certain GPA? Are you looking for certain test scores? What can you tell us about that? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, we do practice holistic review, you know, uh, considering every part of the application and um, really getting as, as best of a sense of us an applicant's uh, interests, strengths, even points of growth, uh, and also their context. So with that, um, we also recognize that part of that, can, you know, evaluation process is our academics. So um, students who tend to be most competitive in our process have, you know, A's and B's and probably more A's than B's. So while we don't have a, you know, a hard GPA range that tends to be who is most competitive in our process. A number of our students do come from, you know, about the top 20, maybe top 10% of their graduating classes. Um, but again, we encourage you to just be thoughtful in your application, put your best foot forward, try your best um, and see what happens as again, we are looking for not just strong academics, but lots of other things too. Great. And we'll, and we'll talk about some of those other things in, in a minute, but I do want to go back to the academic rigor piece, which I imagine, right, is, is pretty significant for yes. you. Um, and we're an IB World School. Uh, we offer both the IB Diploma Program and the IB Career Related Program. So can you talk to us a little bit about how those programs would play into the admissions at, at Pomona? Absolutely. So one of the first questions we ask ourselves of every applicant is, do we have evidence that they can do the work? And part of what we're looking for there is an eagerness for challenging yourself academically and also a willingness to 
do the work to step up to that challenge. So uh, for students here in particular, if you are completing the IB, that tells us that you are willing to take on a challenge. You're committed if you complete the IB program that you're willing to commit to a challenge. Um, and that certainly reads very, very strongly in our process. We often use the phrase academics lead the conversation. And so if you if that is the first thing we see in your application, you're off to a really good start. Again, challenging yourself academically. Um, and for students who maybe don't have access to the IB program, we're looking for them to just maximize the opportunities available in their high school uh, to as much as they possibly can. So again, part of holistic review being evaluating each student in their context. So um, here we, we'd be looking for students who are potentially, you know, pursuing the IB diploma elsewhere that might look a little bit different, but definitely challenge and stepping up to that is important in our process. That's great. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I want to talk a little bit about the application process. Before I do that, um, let's talk about the financial piece uh, yeah. at Pomona. So um, look, as, as people shop, they see sticker prices and sometimes, you know, we can get sticker shock, yeah. but, but we know there's a difference between sticker price and actual price. Can you talk to us about the affordability at Pomona? Absolutely. So we have deep, deep commitments to access and affordability. Um, and I'll break down what that looks like. So the cost of attendance at Pomona is approximately $80,000 talk about sticker price and a little bit of shock with that. Our average financial aid uh, package is about $55,000. And how that is uh, put together is without the use of loans. So Pomona guarantees to meet 100% of demonstrated need, and we will do that without the use of loans. So your financial aid package will be grants, scholarships, and uh, work study for students who are eligible to work. So again, deep commitment to access and affordability, and that is how that plays out in our uh, financial aid policy. For admissions, it's also worth noting we're need blind for all of our domestic students. Anyone graduating from high school in the United States, whether or not you need financial aid is not a consideration in the admissions process. And then again, if you are admitted, 100% of your need will be met without the use of loans, which is just an incredible thing that we're able to do. Great. And I would imagine there's a number of uh, merit scholarship opportunities as well. Actually, there's only need-based financial aid at Pomona. Yeah. So uh, okay. we don't have any merit scholarships of any kind, any athletic scholarships of any kind as well. So it's all need-based financial aid. And so for the need-based financial aid, you'd use the FAFSA and the CSS profile? Correct. Okay, great. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, all right, let's go back to the emissions uh, part of the of, of the conversation. Um, you know, you, we talked about academic rigor, rigor, and you also mentioned it's a holistic review process. Um, talk to us a little bit about what's evaluated in that process. Yeah, absolutely. So um, I'm so glad I'm getting this question. Pomona just rolled out what we're calling our five qualities, and this is what really grounds our review process. And one of them we already talked about, academic commitment, right? Are you willing to do the work? Are you able to do the work? Um, another thing we look for is what we call intellectual curiosity. We want to see and hear about what keeps you up at night thinking, what keeps you on YouTube watching TED Talks, what do you like to read about, all those kinds of things that kind of get your gears go going. Uh, we're looking for students who are eager to contribute to their community, so evidence that you'll show up outside of the classroom. Um, we recognize that our students are not just students, they're student athletes, student activists, student writers, student leaders, and so we're looking for evidence that you'll show up in some way outside of the classroom. We'll then look for uh, students who are, at the very least, have a respect for a, a diverse and inclusive community. Um, that is something that we continuously strive to be. And so we're looking for students who are, again, have at the very minimum a respect for that and hopefully an eagerness for that. And then the last thing we look for is what we call personal traits. So all those things that make humans human, perseverance, grit, determination, passion, creativity, long list of things that could possibly go under there. And that those five things begin to tell us that you could potentially be a good fit for Pomona. And it's not, you know, a magical list of five. There's not even a minimum number to be admitted. But again, that is what grounds our review process and the kinds of qualities that we're looking for in our applicants. Okay, so academic commitment, intellectual curiosity, community contribution, divert being part of a diverse and inclusive community, and personal traits, right? Exactly. How does a student demonstrate those things? 
Absolutely. So um, you could, would demonstrate them across your application. So while you know your list of extracurriculars is most likely to communicate your community contributions, you might also take the opportunity in a supplemental essay to further talk about why leadership is important to you. Or maybe you take the opportunity in a supplemental essay to talk about why belonging to a diverse and inclusive community is important to you. So that's how you can really speak to any of these five qualities across the application. And of course, folks who are writing letters of recommendation, so your counselors, your teachers, you might also encourage them to talk about how your curiosity shows up in the classroom. Um, how your uh, contributions, you know, show up in the classroom. So all, uh, we encourage students to really just think about how their application can be an opportunity to speak to any one of these in any part of the application. All right, very, very good. Mm -hmm. um, so let's go a little bit more into that essay, right, where this is an, an opportunity to, to delve into some of these qualities that you're looking for. Yeah. Um, you know, I think oftentimes students put so much pressure on themselves with the essay, right? Like this is this is it. This is my one opportunity uh, to show them what I really. Am. What advice can you give to students, uh, maybe to kind of bring down that level of anxiety about the essay? Um, what really should they be doing, and what should they be avoiding in an essay? Absolutely. So my biggest piece of advice regarding your writing and your essay is that we to let go of the notion that we need a grand story, that it needs to be a big thing that you are changing the world and had this big impact. No, your essay can be about something really personal to you. And sometimes some of the most successful essays are ones that take really maybe mundane experiences and bring life to them and bring your perspective into them. So that's how we really encourage students to use all of the essays let us into your world as much as you can um, make it really personal that is that is going to be an essay that is more memorable that stands out in our process and a more successful essay and again communicating what we need to know about you okay great and um just uh, test scores wh where does pomona stand right now are we test optional still out of the pandemic or we want them what's happening yeah. Yeah, we are test optional for this admission cycle and the next one. So these next two years, we are test optional TBD moving forward, uh, but we hope to make an announcement, um, you know, as early as possible. Once we know, we will let our, our applicants and our community know um, as well. Of course, of course, mm -hmm. great. So look, you, you've given us a lot of great information here today about the college, given us some, some sound advice uh, in terms of the application process. Uh, let's can you all if, if there's one more piece of advice that a student should absolutely know in the college search or application process, what would it be? Ooh, that's such a good question. So my number one piece of advice, regardless of where you are in the application process, in, in the college search process, is to listen to your gut. You're going to have feelings about certain colleges. You're going to have all sorts of reactions to different communities and different college communities, lean into that. College is perhaps the time you're gonna have the most freedom up until now. So be a little selfish and listen to yourself uh, when you are looking at different colleges. Um, and I know you're also you know, weighing lots of different things, but as much as you can, listen to yourself, listen to your gut, that, that is going to make you happiest in the long run, I think. Uh, great, great piece of advice, not just for college, but life. Yes. Trust your gut. Trust your gut. Um, all right. Look, uh, Paolo, before I let you go, um, is there anything else that you want us, our students and our families to know about Pomona College? Hmm. Um, I don't think so. I think we covered all the best stuff, but uh, we do pride ourselves in our personal touch with pers with applicants and prospective students. So with that, we encourage you to be in touch. I am the New Jersey rep, so feel free to email me. I'm happy to be a resource, happy to help you navigate this process as best as I can. So uh, please do be in touch. No, I appreciate that. And, and it's uh, something I'm always trying to tell students is that they you want to hear from them, right? You, you want to hear from them. And the other thing, and and you let me know if I'm speaking out of turn, you're always looking for uh, reasons to accept a student. You're not necessarily you know, looking for reasons to, to not let them into the college. So uh, I think any communication you guys can have the best, better, yeah? Absolutely. All right, Paolo, listen, thank, thank you very much. I really appreciate you taking the time today. And uh, I think uh, after this, I, our students will, will give Pomona a long, hard look, all right? Excellent, thank you so all much right. for having me. Thank you, take care.